here's how you can set up your parent-teacher conference appointment schedule for the very first time. The first thing you're going to do is open up Google Calendar. Now you're going to go to the date of your first appointment and select a time frame. Once you select that time frame, you're going to go ahead and put in a title. So we're going to call this Parent Teacher Conference. Next, we're going to select Appointment Schedule. Now that we've selected Appointment Schedule, we're going to also just select Set Up the Schedule. This will create our booking page. Now at the top, we're going to set our appointment duration. So for parent-teacher conferences, we usually go with 15 minutes, so let's select 15 minutes. And instead of repeat weekly, because this is only going to be this week, we're going to select do not repeat. So now I need to change my time here, because I had selected 1.15 and I need to select 1.30. And I'm going to add an additional date. So the next date, I'm going to select 1.30 to 3.30. Once I have that done, I'm going to move down to the scheduling window. So I want them to be able to book at least 60 days in advance. And I can just select the amount of time that they have to uh, minimum amount of time before the appointment can start. So I put 24 hours in here and you can change that to whatever you need it to be. Booked appointment settings. So I'm going to select this next and here I'm not going to select anything here but if you wanted to have a buffer in between the meetings so if you wanted like five minutes in between then this is where you'd put that. You want to leave guest permissions that guests can invite others that way if you have um, split households and one parent books it, they can invite the other parent to be part of it. Calendars. So on the calendars, I'm going to select my personal calendar. So my personal calendar is selected by default. And what that's going to do is it's going to check my personal calendar to make sure I'm available before um, the appointment slots are made. So if I have something on my personal calendar at 3.30, till 4 o'clock, those two 15-minute appointment slots will not be available on the booking calendar. There is co-host. We're going to ignore, ignore that for now. And let's go to next. At the booking page, you can just look at this and just make sure it has um, your name and your photo on there. Next, we're going to go to location and conferencing. I want you to select how and where to meet. Click that and I want you to select Google Meet. And the reason I want you to select Google Meet is if you have any parents that select virtual, they will automatically have the link for that virtual appointment. If you don't select this and they select virtual, you will have to go back and assign a Google Meet link to that appointment slot. Here's where you're gonna put your instructions for your parent-teacher conference. So once I have my description in, I'm going to go ahead and move to the booking form. So the booking form will automatically check, ask them for their first name, last name, and email address, but we want to add a few other things. So I'm going to select add an item, and I want their phone number, so I'm going to require that. That way if there's any problems, I can quickly give them a call. So add that item. I'm going to add another item and this is going to be a custom item and so I am going to ask for the student name since students names are not always the same as the parents so I'm going to require that and add that item and then last I am going to ask if they want to meet in person or virtual and I'm going to require that and add that item once I'm done here, I have my last step is booking confirmations and reminders. So I have, by default, the email reminder is to send an email to the parent who booked the 
appointment slot, an email reminder one day before. If you want to add additional emails, you can do that as well. And then when you're all done, just click save. Once you click save, you're going to come to this page. So I can click here to get a link to share with my parents. So this is the link I would click and I would copy the link. So here it's going to see a single booking page and it's going to have your parent teacher conference booking page. This is the link for your parents to get to that page. So I'm going to copy that link and I'm going to click done. Now if you want to see what the parents see, you can open up the booking page. So this is what the parents will see when they go to the booking page. They're going to come here and they're going to navigate to the dates that you have available. So they're going to click here on the 25th and now you see that these are all the time slots that I have available for my parent teacher conference. Share the link with your parents and then they can easily come on here, click on a time slot, and they can book their time with you. Mm -hmm.